Rates are going up. Inflation's going up. Jobs report is still crazy. What in the world is going on? Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Brief with your one and only Kenny Simpson. Let's jump right into it. Because, my gosh, the data, the news never stops. It's always crazy. And it's very confusing right now. So, let's jump right into it. Inventory, San Diego. What do you know? It's not going up. It's still going down. I mean, month, I mean, week over week, as I've looked at it from December, we have literally gone down every single week. This is not here. It's across the board. I talk to agents all over the country. So this is common. Uh, look, you know, nobody wants to list their home. Nobody wants to move. Nobody wants to get rid of those nice, low interest rates. So this is where we're at. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is interest rates. Yes. Um, since we had, uh, trying to think here, um, the jobs report started spiking the rates. And then this new recent inflation report, which I'm not sure both of those are even in line or temporary, what's going on, um, rates have climbed. So uh, the 30 year fixed rate, the 10 year treasury has probably moved up about 50 basis points. So the 30 year fixed mortgages might have been in line with that, but we're definitely seeing some movement in rates. Inflation, as I mentioned, that report came out higher than expected. They do look over a 12 month average. So we are pulling in data from last year when you know inflation was really, really high. So I haven't gone and done the math to see if that's really what's kicking it up. But look, you guys are out and about. I'm out and about. People are spending money. Uh, you know, they're they're living, they're loving their life. Vegas is crazy, the airports are crazy, the restaurants are crazy, the malls are crazy. It's crazy. Where's all this money coming from? I don't know. I did talk to a restaurant owner today. He said for the first time since the pandemic, he's finally seen people come back that left to work with him, which is crazy. So maybe we're starting to see a little turn back. Maybe people are running out of money. Maybe they've got to pay their rent. They got evicted. I don't know, but you know, you guys tell me. So what else I want to jump in this week? Also buyers, they're still active. And guess what buyers? You've got a lots of competition. You know why? Because there's no supply. And people that didn't buy last year, look, the prices are down. People are pricing more competitively, but you got competition. When you have 2,700 homes on the market in San Diego, it's not enough. So uh, I don't have to tell you, buyers, um, look, you want to write, uh, so we're back to closing quickly, low contingencies, and competing with probably, I would say, at least more than 10 people. I'm hearing 10, 20, 30 offers on homes, no joke, all over. So it's common. I'm hearing open houses are crazy. So we're not even in spring, summer yet, but let's see what happens. Um, also, what I talked about this week is something that I think is interesting that I was thinking about as I'm doing my, my um, it's going to be called Data Over Drama, my uh, webinar. I'm starting to look at a lot of different data and, and stats and stuff. But one of the things I thought, Hey, what do we, what could keep housing inventory low, right? That's like going through the list. One of the things I want to look at was um, aging, right? So yeah, us Americans, we're living longer. When I say longer, like 20 years longer than, you know, 20, 30 years ago. And the other thing about that is obviously, you know, and I know that people that are 60, 70, 80, 90, they're not moving as much as when they're 20s and 30s and 40s. So those homes, if they're living longer and they're not moving, they're staying on, they're not going anywhere. That is lack of inventory. So we've got a lot of things that are not helping inventory, right? We got low people locked in low rates, people living longer. We didn't build. I mean, you know, COVID didn't help. People remodel, stay in their homes. So look, the... The lack of inventory story is real. Are we going to get a lot of inventory? I don't know. This is across the nation. Like I said, we have to keep watching it, but that's what I got for you this week. We'll continue to watch rates, continue to watch this market. Um, nothing seems to be breaking. Uh, the Fed's probably going to keep tightening longer than we expect. I mean, people are trying to push the Fed to do a 50 basis point rate hike next time because they don't know what to do. This inflation is not stopping. But remember, rate hikes don't necessarily mean that your inflation is going to go down. So I think this is all going to catch up to us. Um, but look, we got to go over these humps. We're just in this crazy market where things 
data and stuff getting thrown at us is not normal and we have to live with it. Until next week, hope you guys have a good week. Please share this. Please forward this email to somebody else that might like this. I appreciate you guys' comments. I appreciate the feedback. Appreciate the love. Hope you guys have a great week. I will talk to you soon.